Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It's time for some more Madden 17 in the series where I try to win this Super Bowl as every single NFL team. So for this one, I will be playing as the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is a matchup that I think would be really, really cool because you've got two teams out of Pennsylvania. This would make some very interesting Super Bowl parties and conversations. There'd probably be some split loyalties all over the place and whatnot, but hey, football is awesome. So of course in this one we'll be talking about some of the history of the Philadelphia Eagles and honestly for me, I really am excited because I cannot remember the last time I played as the Philadelphia Eagles and for me, what I, a lot of what I get out of this is a chance to play as every single team, something I've never done before. So let's go ahead and get this game started. Ben Roethlisberger making a quick pass here. It's going to be a decent pick up here and it'll get Pittsburgh to the 47 yard line. We've got to find a way to put some pressure, I think on Ben Roethlisberger very early on. Again, getting a pass off, but intercepted by Mills. And I was hoping that the momentum after making that catch and being able to run on over to the right would get me a pretty big pickup. I didn't, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain because I got that interception. That's exactly what we need. Here we go. Pass to Matthews, gets tripped up, but I'm going to make it to the 23-yard line. Now I'm looking at third and 10, though, after a couple incomplete passes. This one, uh, at least I get it off in time here. I'm going to have to go ahead and settle for a field goal if I can make it, and I do. Man, I was hoping early on I'd have a better opening drive than that one. i got to give a lot of credit to my defense, though, for getting me set up to at least get these three points. I mean, that drive stalled pretty quickly. I'm sure, though, if I would have gotten it further back, I don't think I would have gotten anything out of it. All right, little handoff to Bells. Not going to get too much of anything right there. And now we're looking at third and 11. Hopefully my secondary comes through again. Oh, sack. That's even better. All right, fourth and 22. So obviously... We're going to see Pittsburgh punting right there. Well-timed sack, and I get a pretty decent return, as you can see, since now we're at the 43-yard line. I'm liking what I see on the left. Yes! Sweet pass. I feel like that it's a lot easier in Madden 17 to get some of those long throws in be able to complete them easier than in previous years. And I don't know if it's just because of me or if it's the game. I don't know, probably a little bit of both because I, I find myself being a lot more conscious of what the safeties are doing. I've kind of been concerned with in the past. All right, see if Pittsburgh will be able to answer. Again, Bell not going anywhere and we'll probably lose a couple yards right there. Now we're looking at third and 12. We get a sack again. Nope, complete the catch. But I'm cool with that as they're not going to get the first down. So that is going to go ahead and force them to punt. Going to look for a quick throw across the middle here but well defended by Pittsburgh that's what causes that sack since there really wasn't anywhere who I could safely throw to back at the 11 yard line oh safety blitz left side let's do it again the catch and with that another long pass here from the 11 yard line to the end zone that's of course 89 yards a huge touchdown for us when I saw the safety blitzing I was like oh man this is going to be a sack, and as far back as I kind of go in the pocket, I was kind of worried I might be looking at, you know, being pinned back within the five for sure. I don't think I was in safety position, but wow. Huge for us. It's going to make it 17 to nothing. We've still got a little less than two minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Bell's going to get a decent pickup on the ground right here, making it second and five. Here we go again. Ooh, looks like he got that. But he didn't. Third and inches. All right, little toss over to the right. Oh! Breaks one tackle, but still goes down, and it is shy of that first down marker. So after the punt and an incomplete pass, here we are at second and 10. Open through the middle. That one's going to be a pretty close one there. But again, a few incomplete passes, third and 10 now. Pressure's on. Really not too much going on. Going back and looking at that one, though. Over on the left, got open right as I was throwing. Dang. Anyway, Roethlisberger back pretty far after a good pass, or after a good punt. But this pass is going to go ahead and put him at the 24-yard line. 
they don't have to worry about being pinned back too far. Oh my gosh! I missed Ben Roethlisberger on that one. Well, at least for me, it's uh, an illegal forward pass and he didn't complete it anyway, so they're gonna have to go ahead and punt. All right, little screen pass with Matthews here. Not gonna be able to juke past the defender there. Only gonna pick up about five yards. Four, it looks like. I've gone with a lot more screen passes lately, and I think it's really come from those Thanksgiving games. Nice catch. All right, we've got to keep this going. Changing up the play here just a little bit. But here I go with another catch, able to get the first down too. I really do change it up quite a bit. Now that I think about it, I think every passing play, I'll change some of the routes based off of what I see. Another first down for us. There's a flag on the play though. Came right at the last second it seemed. It's probably holding. Yup. All right, second and 17 now. Gosh, sometimes holding happens at the worst possible. Ah, play action also comes at terrible times usually too. Well defended by Pittsburgh. Okay, third and 25. Obviously, I'm not going to get a deep pass like I've gotten in, in previous plays. And that one's going to be intercepted. Well, Pittsburgh will get it. It was a pretty good field position here at the 42-yard line. Less than two minutes left to go in the first half. It has taken a long time to be able to get through this half, and it's because of all of the passing that has taken place. You know, if I get a game where I'm doing some great running, you see the clock go pretty quick because of all the times the clock stops. Anyway, another completion by Ben Roethlisberger here on first down. See, he's 50% passing for this game so far. Second and one. Not surprised they're going with the pass, but a sweet catch. Diving for it. Computer enhanced, of course, too. That one was nuts. All right, just about a minute to go. Got to make the stop. Another catch along the middle. Now you can see Pittsburgh's calling the timeouts now, too. Ooh, intercepted. No, I didn't want to go out of the end zone. Oh, my gosh. I hate it when the like it changes the camera angle on you. And then, of course, you can't stop on a dime either. Man, that was so stupid. Got it at the two-yard line. Oh, well, at least I get out of it here. Clock will end for the half. We go into the break. But, no, seriously, I hate it when the camera changes because you're pointing yourself in one direction and then it changes and you got to flip your controller to the other direction too but whatever nothing harmful happened at least I get a decent run to be able to start this one off here still 17 to nothing of course not too much really happened in the second quarter so while I'm running the ball let's go ahead and talk about some of the history of the Philadelphia Eagles all right so Philadelphia uh, Eagles actually originated in 1933, and they've really been the Philadelphia Eagles the entire time, except for one year, 1943, where they merged with uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they were known as the Steagles. Steelers, Eagles, you get it? But the reason why they did that in 1943 was because of World War II. Uh, a lot of people were, of course, being drafted and whatnot, uh, and so making sure that the NFL continued, there were still a, I mean, there was a few mergers actually took place that was temporary because back in 1944 they broke apart again and they were the Philadelphia Eagles but um, yeah I thought I always like learning that type of stuff that there was that uh, merger during World War II for a little bit but the Philadelphia Eagles they've won the league championship three times but it's all pre AFL NFL merger so you're looking at 1948, 1949, and 1960 are their championships that, they've, that they have. Won the division 13 times. The last time was 2013. And then they've won the uh, conference championship, the NFC particularly, twice, 1980 and 2004. And then, of course, you know, I've 
never played as the Eagles, but I remember so many times watching them on TV. Like, I remember, like, Donovan McNabb playing for him, and I even remember, like, this is going to sound really stupid. You guys are probably going to be like, oh, wow, this dude is old. But I remember, like, in elementary school, we used to get uh, folders that had different players on it. And I remember having a Donovan McNabb folder. I think it was, like, third or fourth grade. But anyway, you can go through. You can look at all the Hall of Famers because there's a ton of them uh, that Philadelphia has had, which is, is pretty cool. Mike Ditka, of course, played for Philadelphia for quite a while. Chuck McNarrick. He's another one. You know, it's really cool to be able to mention. So, anyway, let's get back to the game here since you guys know a little bit more about the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. So, still 17 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. I expect this to change here since this game just loves its rubber banding. I'm going to go ahead and do a lot better to get the score pretty close. And it's really not that close. Roethlisberger is on fire right now when it comes to passing. There's just really no stopping him, whether I'm in zone defense or man-to-man. -man, it doesn't matter. They're going to go ahead and complete these catches. All right, first and 10 now. Struggling to be able to get to Roethlisberger. Seen that play just a few times. Nearly impossible for me to be able to defend anything right now, so I'm not surprised we're going to see that. Finally, I get a little bit of a break here as we see a false start. We'll set him back five yards. 5.44 left to go in this game, though. I really don't think they'll be able to put up 17 points. Another quick pass by Roethlisberger. Of course, they go ahead and make up for that. And then Bell just relatively untouched until he gets to the end zone. All right, so there's the first points on the board here for the Pittsburgh Steelers today, making it 17-7 to once they go ahead and complete that extra point. Trying to run out the clock on the ground. We get sacked on third and nine. I'll make it fourth and 17, and I'm going to have to punt. Decent return, as you can see, as now Pittsburgh is at the 44-yard line. They'll keep making these throws, but the one thing that I'm getting excited about here is we're making the tackle, and so the clock continues to run down. You can see now we've hit the two-minute warning. Yeah, they'll probably get a touchdown here or something, and then it'll be up to me to just run the clock out. Roethlisberger back, completed, and of course, did I not call it? I called it. Touchdown here, that'll make it 17-14 once they hit the extra point. 1.42 left to go. I run the ball, and yeah, nothing. All right, going to complete this pass. And, oh, that one's close. They're calling timeout, which means, yep, I got it. Sweet. Just go ahead and get in victory formation. We'll go ahead and take a knee, and with this, the game is going to be done, and the Philadelphia Eagles win this Super Bowl. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here so those of you who are Eagles fans can just enjoy the celebration. But, again, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate it. Subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a good one.